couple of days ago we had a lecture on Werner syndrome. It's also known as the adult progeria. It's one of those accelerated aging syndromes that people often mention when they talk about uh, studying aging. In fact, there are several approaches that you can take when you are talking about aging uh, or studying it. Uh, so one of them is obviously looking at um, longevity uh, genes in uh, model animals and the pathways that are uh, associated with those genes. The, but it's really important to study human aging, right? Because we're humans, we need information about how we age in the first place. So the two major approaches that people have been taking um, are studying the centenarians, those super old individuals who reach to be 100 on 110 years of age. And the other approach is studying those um, progerias, those accelerated aging um, diseases. And Werner syndrome is one of them. So this is a terrible disease. People would have cataracts when they're in their 20s. They would have atherosclerosis in their early 30s, osteoporosis, type 2 diabetes. They would have a bunch of cancers. And they would die of heart attacks, at least the majority of them. So. Um, uh, what's happening? What's going on with those patients? Um, and by the way, this is quite a rare disease. The incidence is one in 500,000 or maybe one million people. Although in um, Japan and Sardinia, this incidence is much higher, probably because those regions, um, it, they are confined, they're islands. So there are less incoming genetic diversity in those populations. So, Werner, uh, Werner syndrome. So, what happens? There is a loss of function mutation in the Werner gene. Loss of function mutation means that there is a mutation in this gene and it leads to production of zero protein. So, there is basically no proteins. Pro Werner protein is uh, important. It forms a complex with other players and um, it's been known to co-localize with other proteins at the uh, telomeres. So, what happens at the telomeres? They have three prime end overhangs, basically. Uh, um, Single-stranded DNA kind of sticking out of the uh, chromosome. You don't want to leave those three prime end hangs just just hanging in there, right? Doing nothing because cellular machinery will recognize them as DNA damage, and they would recognize them as um, a, a strand break, and they would fuse them with other um, overhangs, and it would mean that two chromosomes will be fused. And this type of fusion is actually known to be one of the causes in some cancers. So you don't want that. So the three prime overhangs, they need to be protected. And there is a structure that is formed um, that protects those overhangs, and it's called the T-loop. So Werner protein plays, it's been shown to play a role in uh, forming that T-loop. So what happens when it's gone? It means that there is more genomic instability, and this is one of the reasons, probably, uh, why those people age faster. It means that their chromosomes are more unstable, there are more errors that are happening, hence more cancers, more senescence, more those terrible th things that are just not normal function. So, um, Vernet protein is a helicase. Remember that enzyme that I mentioned before that unwinds uh, the uh, double-stranded DNA? So um, it is believed to play a role in forming that T-loop, uh, perhaps due to its helicase activity. So um, this protein is really important for normal function and those um, unlucky people who uh, have it lost, who don't have this protein, um, they have um, more genomic instability and hence more aging.